Hello, today I'm looking at different options for some simple out-of-the-box contact management within Office 365. There are a number of options available, but I'm going to look at three of them, Outlook, SharePoint Lists and a CRM app. First, let's look at Outlook. With Office 365, your copy of Outlook is synchronised with Exchange Online. This means that all your contact and contact history is available from any device and you can access it all using Web App too. There is quite a bit of detail you can add to each contact, including some notes and you can also arrange contacts into groups which could help with sending out emails or small mail shots to selected people. The inbuilt mail merge facility is great for sending out small mail shots however if you are sending out a very large number of emails then it may be better to use a dedicated service to do that as exchange will throttle the rate of mail delivery. You can also allocate tasks and link them to the contacts that you have and send status reports. The downside is that it's not easy to associate each contact with a particular company, project or opportunity unless you set up specific contact groups to do that. To track correspondence you will need to use a shared mailbox when working in a team. Second, let's look at SharePoint. SharePoint is a very good tool for sharing information. That can include contacts, diaries, tasks, project information, records of conversations, media and documents. And you can also set up a site mailbox so that everyone in your team can follow correspondence. You can quickly set up a simple contact management system and tailor it to your needs using the various lists in SharePoint. Let's take an example that we have some contacts that belong to different companies and we wish to track our interactions with each contact in some sort of contact history. Here's a demo of that. It's a bit rough around the edges at the moment but I'll show you what it can do. Here we have a company list. Each company just has its name, address and the main phone number. Then there is a contact list. Each contact belongs to, is or associated with one or more organisations using the lookup feature. Then there is another list which contains a history of all the interactions with each contact. Each of these lists is searchable, so you don't have to wade through a long list to find something or you could create some custom views as well. To make life easier I've added a little bit of workflow in here that puts a new contact automatically into the contact history and links them together and another workflow that updates when a person was last contacted. So you can track if someone hasn't been contacted for quite a while. The contact list here can also be synchronised into Outlook, so you can always have the contact information available. As SharePoint is online here, we can update all our contacts online from anywhere we have internet access, and the list can be synchronised to your laptop for use while on the move. This demo is just a skeleton and can be customised to how you might wish to work. For example, I've added some tiles here to help navigation and an area where a team can look at a task list and engage in some messaging interactions as well as store some documents. Finally, let's look at two apps. These two apps come from the SharePoint store and are free. Business Contact Manager is an app built on Access and has some nice lists with a tidy front end for your contacts, 
companies, opportunities and products. Each of these lists are linked together, so you can quickly see which contact is linked with each company or opportunity or product. Data sheet views are also available, so you can scrape information onto a spreadsheet if you wish, although it's not obvious how you would get the information directly from the tables. Whilst Outlook is used for the emails, there doesn't seem to be a way of taking these with you in Outlook. BPA CRM Lite is another free app. There is a more comprehensive version available by subscription from BPA that offers a few more features. This has contacts, documents, opportunities, cases, campaigns and also has some reporting tools. This is built on standard SharePoint lists, although with the slight version there doesn't seem to be a way of easily pulling contact information into Outlook or accessing the lists directly. So that's three very simple ways of setting up a contact management system. For more complicated needs, you could also look at Business Contact Manager. That's a free downloadable add-on to Outlook that comes from Microsoft. Or pay for a more upmarket system like Dynamics CRM, Act or Salesforce. Okay, thanks for watching. For more hints and tips on using Office 365 for business, visit simonjameskid.com.